Hi guys, what's up? It's Christy and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then hi, welcome to my channel. And if you're not, then welcome back. So today I'm just gonna be doing a Q&A for you guys. I posted a picture on my Instagram story asking you guys to ask me whatever questions you wanted. Yeah, you guys asked me a bunch of really awesome questions. So I'm just gonna be answering them today for you guys. Yeah, basically it. I'm not really gonna ramble too much, but let's just get into the video. The first question is 2021 goals. I actually wrote a bunch of them down here because I was like, wait, I haven't even like thought about what goals I wanted to accomplish for this year. And I can't even believe that I didn't do that yet. So yeah, I wrote a bunch of them down here. So the first one is definitely to grow my YouTube channel. Definitely, definitely, definitely a goal of mine. I really just want to build my platform and build my brand as much as possible. And I want to put out content for you guys that you guys would want to see. It's like really good quality videos for you guys. So definitely a goal of mine to grow my channel. I can't wait to see what this year will bring. Second one is to save money. This is extremely hard because obviously it's like during the pandemic and stuff, it's like, what are you supposed to do? Like online shopping is like the one thing that just like brings me joy every day. So <laughs> it's hard to not do it. I just like love clothes and I love fashion. So it's really hard for me to like save money. Definitely a goal of mine. I still want to like put money into things that I think are really good investments, but I don't want to spend money on things that I think are just kind of like stupid little things that I don't really need. When I go on Amazon and I just find a bunch of cute little like knickknack things that I really don't need at all, but somehow I ended up just buying them. Yeah, that's definitely a goal of mine is to like spend my money on things that I think are good investments, but also save the money that I think I'm spending on like unnecessary, kind of just stupid little things. And then the third one is kind of a weird one. It's to expand my cognitive empathy. And the reason that I wrote this goal is because in the past I've really struggled with kind of trying to take a moment to understand other people's perspectives and put myself in their shoes of like where they're coming from and like how they are feeling emotionally. Like if I'm in a fight with my sister, I just wanna like kind of take a step back and be like, okay, this, is why they're feeling that way this is like how i impacted them to feel like that kind of understand like where they're coming from i've definitely struggled with that in the past which is completely okay we're all growing as people and we're human and i think that it's good that like i recognize that and it's something that i want to like grow and change i kind of just like understanding where other people are coming from putting myself in like other people's shoes kind of a weird goal to have but i don't know it's something that i like i really just want to improve on and like i have started a little bit to improve on it in 2020 but I want to grow even more with it in 2021. So the fourth goal that I have is learning to be okay with just being alone, dealing with the anxiety of that because don't know like what happened at the end of 2020, but I think I was just in quarantine for so long that I was starting to get anxiety with being alone all the time and like kind of just feeling like super anxious, like if I'm left home alone. I feel like I was a super independent person kind of like before the pandemic i really never had a problem with being alone well last semester at home alone every single day like nobody was around me i moved to a city where i don't really know a lot of people so um i feel like i've just been like really anxious lately with like being alone and feel like i just like i feel way more comfortable if i'm with or if other people are like around me but like I'm still like doing my own thing if that makes sense. So yeah, I just kind of want to like improve on being okay with being alone and like finding joy I guess in it. Just thinking with like my own thoughts and focusing on like what I'm doing, lessening my anxiety and like anxiousness levels with that. Then I guess my last goal would definitely be to just like be more present and like live way more in the moment. I know with like our society and everything it's like 
we all take pictures and we want to post them and like show people like what we're doing and like just keep them for memories but I really wanted to just like be more present and like live more in the moment and not you know take my phone out enjoy the time that i am spending with people and stuff so the next question is what inspired you to start youtube this is a really good question i was really into youtube for many 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 years like i think i started watching youtube in 2013 or like 2014 i'd say just always like super inspired by like how girls created platforms to express themselves and express their style just like be creative with like making their own content and videos and i've always wanted to do that people could like express themselves through their own channels and promote their own brand and i thought that was just so cool and i was like i want to do that like i want to film videos and like kind of just show people like what I know about fashion and beauty. Those were all like just huge interest to me. Yeah, I wanted to start it for a while, but I, I guess I was like really just nervous about like what other people would think. I think a lot of that comes with maturity. As you grow up, you start to realize like, why did I even care about what other people think? Because now I'm kind of just doing what I love. It makes me so happy. So it's like, why did I care? People that know me probably don't like what I'm doing right now and don't like my YouTube channel. I'm okay with that because like I've kind of grown into like maturing with like how much I care of like what people think of me because I really just don't care that much anymore. I'm like, okay, well, if you don't like what I'm doing, then like you, that's fine. Like you don't have to watch my channel. Yeah, I think a lot of that is like just maturity and growing and overall like what inspired me was just like I really wanted to like promote my own brand and like be creative with like what I know about beauty and fashion and like lifestyle just all of that next question is where do you want to be in 10 years in 10 years I think I'll be well in 10 years I'll be 31 so I think I'll probably be married or engaged hopefully have kids I don't know I'm not really sure like what age that I want to have kids at but I think I want to have them kind of like in my upper 20s or like lower 30s so i think i'll definitely be married i'll definitely possibly be pregnant or have kids um or a kid definitely doing my dream career because i definitely want to work on moving myself towards like promoting like my own brand and promoting myself doing a job that I love because that's definitely something that like I'm really passionate about is just finding what I want to do and like be in love with it and I definitely want to keep doing YouTube so I think I'll definitely be doing YouTube. Maybe doing a side job. I don't really know. It depends like how my YouTube grows or whatever and if I, that can be my like main job I guess but yeah. Who knows i'm not really sure i definitely know i'm gonna be married and possibly pregnant and have kids but i'm not sure as far as like my job what job i'm gonna be doing as location i'll probably be around massachusetts i don't know it's like it's hard because like i want to move to california and i've always wanted to be in california but it's like such a big you know life change to like move to california and i i'm like very scared of that i'm very scared of change as you guys know talked about it before but i'll probably be in either california or massachusetts i think or florida but like probably not florida. probably california or massachusetts and then the next question is what do you like better tiktok or insta definitely instagram i love instagram i don't really like tiktok that much i don't know why never really got on like the huge like tiktok wave i was never really like that into it i've made like a couple videos here and there but never really been into it that much i love expressing my, like myself on my instagram and like posting pictures and kind of just expressing like my aesthetic theme through my instagram and like my fashion so yeah definitely instagram this question is what is the biggest reali realization you've had 
in the past year. And I know this is gonna be like really cliche and cheesy. I feel like we've all heard it, but like definitely to not take anything for granted. Appreciate everything that you are given and everything that you have and your loved ones because you never know when it's gonna change one day and you're not gonna have all of that. And your life is just gonna be so different. And as we've learned in the past year, we definitely, I feel like all took for granted what we had every day and like going to concerts, being able to like hug our friends, to a party without a mask on, be in public without a mask on, like all of the like things that we just took as like normal, I feel like we all like took for granted and didn't know what life was going to be without it. Uh, definitely to not take anything for granted and to appreciate everything that I have. Next question is what's your dream job? Dream job would definitely be like an influencer, content creator. So oh, this is kind of a tough question because I really would love to work from home and just promote like my own brand and grow my YouTube channel so that that could be my dream job. Um, I definitely would like love that like more than anything I think that's like definitely my dream to be able to do just create content and like videos for YouTube and inspiration for people to take from me I guess again just kind of promote like my own brand and create my own brand or I mean right now I just created my own major at the university that I am enrolled at. I created like a real estate slash like marketing slash like social media major. Like a bunch of classes in like those fields put into like the major that I made. So I love like interior design. I love just like properties and like real estate. So I think going into real estate, designing the houses, but also selling the houses, I think that would be like really cool. And that would definitely be a dream job of mine. Probably end up doing both. Like if I did real estate on the side or if that was like my main job and then like content creating and like my YouTube was like a side job or a main job. Yeah. I don't know. I think both of them are just like areas of interest that I would love for a dream job and I'd be fine with either of those. The next question is, what is your favorite thing about yourself? My favorite thing about myself is, I guess, just like how passionate I am about things that I love. If I truly do love something, I'm truly, truly, truly passionate about it. So determined, I feel like if I want something so bad, I will do anything that I can to like put my head down and like get that thing that I want like so bad. I'm just able to kind of put my head down and like really go for like what I want makes, you know, going for my goals and like ch chasing my goals and stuff like so easy because I'm like so determined to get there. I think it's a really good thing for my career and how passionate I am. I think that comes in with the relationships that I have with other people. If I truly love you and I'm truly loyal to our friendship or our relationship, I really put my whole heart into that relationship or that friendship and I think that's a really good trait to have with other people around me because it really like keeps that relationship or that friendship going. So the next question is what is your favorite hairstyle? And this is a good question because my favorite hairstyle right now is actually a new hairstyle I just tried recently and it's the bubble braid and I think it's so cute. Love the trend right now, bubble braids. I think they're just adorable and I think they like look good with any outfit and they like instantly make an outfit cuter or the hairstyle i'll put a picture here because i'm probably not going to describe it that well but it's like a ponytail and then you take like a piece of hair out of here and you kind of like wrap it like that and so then your hair is and i don't know if i'm describing this right but I'll put a picture here. Either of those hairstyles are like my go-tos right now. The next question is, what are you excited about this semester? This is a good question. Um, something I'm excited about is growing my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to keep doing these videos and I'm so excited to keep putting content out for you guys and just filming really good quality videos that you guys will really love. And I'm just really looking forward to filming 
bunch of videos and I have like so many ideas that I'm so excited to put out for you guys. So that's definitely something I'm really excited about. I don't know if this is like related to school or not, but if this is, then something that I am excited about is I just got an internship with this company called Ambition Planner and it's a 90 day planner that they have designed for women who want to be ambitious and yeah so i'm their graphic design and content creator and i'm so excited about the internship it's gonna be great so uh, yeah i think that's where i'm gonna end this video but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys liked it and if you did make sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you are not already and i'll see you guys in my next video